Hello and welcome to the short video about Jaguar XK8 door car removal. This is video 65 in my series of XK8 videos. In this video I'm going to show you in detail how I removed my interior door card. If you like XK8 and you're interested in XK8 videos, I might su suggest you subscribe to my channel. You can do that by pressing the red rectangular subscribe button. If you want to be reminded when videos are aired, click the bell. And if you like the videos, I'd appreciate it if you press the thumbs up. And if you don't, press the thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please add them at the bottom of the video. To remove the trim, you basically just need a screwdriver and a plastic trim removal tool to get behind the door card itself. Before we start then, it's probably best to familiarise yourself with the fixings on the door card itself. There are actually nine fir tree clips which I've circled here all the way around the outside of the uh, door card and there should be four screw fixings one at the bottom of the door pocket one underneath the switch pack one underneath the door latch and actually in my case there's one at the top corner The fir trees themselves are a diameter 60mm by 25mm long, the part number is shown there. And they're mounted on these little uh, plastic um, mountings inside the uh, cardboard door trim. These are very, very weak and several of these are actually raised and they're quite easy to break off here. I actually broke the top of this off here, you can see here and I've glued it back. They actually press into plastic uh, clips that are pushed inside the metal door inner and uh, it's just a push fit. So to continue to familiarise yourself with the door inner you're going to take out the top of the door where it's a different colour is actually a different section and you can see here the yellow clips is where it actually attaches to the main door liner and some riveted portions. Now if you pull too hard on this top you will break all these clips off so it's you can see it's very important not to grab the top and pull too hard there's only one clip at the top that needs to be removed so you need to be very careful. Uh, secondly if you look round, there are two extra screw fixings at the bottom but they, they only remove the speaker grill which can be removed separately together with its two clips. So as I start to undo my door card uh, first of all I had to remove this screw from the uh, the back edge which I believe is non-standard or potentially a standard rework because when I removed it it was extremely long. Uh, in the metal part of the door there was actually a tapped hole so I, I think this was a maybe an early rework for a problem in that top corner with the clip. Next is to um, remove the door pocket rubber, <laughs> rubber mat in there. It basically just lifts out there you go. There is actually supposed to be a piece of velcro holding it down but a lot of time this velcro uh, comes off the rubber you need to glue it back on. Just a very simple fix but the, the rubber doesn't move anyway. Okay so to um, remove the switch pack you need to get a plastic trim tool underneath here. I'll try and show you a bit of you underneath here and just lever that out. It should come away it, and it reveal underneath there's actually just a push in clip at the bottom you see and basically just pull it out and that's that's the bit of trim put that to one side and then it reveals a screw so take take your Phillips screwdriver undo that put that to one side and the whole thing comes away I haven't quite undone it bit tricky doing it one-handed. 
We're completely out. Try and get the screw out. Yeah, we're completely out. And the switch back just pulls out. A big connector at the back. There we go. Oh, lost my screw. There you go. Okay, so to remove the uh, the socket, you need to push this tab in, and then pull it out. So push it in, pull it out, and there you go. Switch back is removed. You can see this is how. I've <laughs> so after the switch back is removed, uh, it gives access to another um, Phillips head screw, which we re need to remove. This actually is one of the main attachments of the centre of the door to the door itself and then there's another screw at the back of the door pocket uh, which is underneath the uh, the rubber trim that we've already took out you actually have to then remove the handle itself uh, you need to remove the little plastic bung here uh, cap you need a tiny screwdriver to get in the slot and just flick it out then it reveals a screw and you just basically screw that out again with the Phillips screwdriver. And the door trim itself should just come loose. Give it a wiggle. Should come out. There you go. And the plastic shrine is out. In theory then, you need to now start yanking or pulling at the door trim. So this is the best time to sort of get your ha head around where the clips are. So I compared one door, I'd taken the driver's side door to the passenger side in this case. And I actually taped up all the points where the um, the fixings were in order to make sure I wasn't uh, pulling on a bit of the trim that didn't have a fixing. Again, just to reiterate, do not pull at the top of the, the door card. Do avoid pulling on the, that leading edge. Uh, because the yellow portion here, the difference in colour is actually difference in the construction of the door card. And if you pull at the top, you'll actually break those off. So my preference is actually to start at the top right hand corner and move clockwise all the way around to the final one at the top of the door. So you're putting as less least stress as possible on that top edge. My idea was to pick the, um, using the plastic trim tool, get underneath and get your hand underneath the, behind the door card and then feel for the plastic trim mounting and actually pull it directly at the point of the, the, um, the, 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 the uh, fir tree. That way you, you can get it off, you can use quite a bit of force without breaking the mountings. And then basically with your hand, move around the door uh, the door card pulling it off and then feeling for the next fir, trip, fir tree pulling that away again down to the corner working around very very carefully pulling away keeping your hand in between the door and the door card until you get towards the lower edge as you can see here you, the, the door card is starting to come away now and it gets easier and easier as you go around and as long as you pull at the point of the fir tree, you should be okay without breaking anything. Finally then, the bottom rear corner, the courtesy light, uh, you cannot disconnect until the whole thing's removed. So don't just yank your door card away once you pulled it off or let it fall to the ground because you will break that courtesy light. It's, I, did, I did the first time with the door because I forgot about it. In order to undo it, it's a similar fixing to the um, the indicator bulbs, um, you just press this metal tab inwards towards the um, the body of the uh, socket and pull it upwards. There you go. There's the door car removed, hopefully without breaking any of those green plastic mountings for the fir trees. You can look at your door inner, and my door inner looked like something like this. Somebody's definitely been there before. There's lots of masking tape and gaffer tape and little bits of... Um, adhesive where somebody had been trying to seal an air leak by the looks of it. There was a couple of clips that didn't come off in one go so I got a pair of pliers and again the plastic trim tool and just levered them out to flew them off. And as I say there was a couple that broke the top off 
and I've just super glued them back on. Hopefully that'll be okay. Again, if you can get behind your fingers behind uh, the uh, the trim and get right behind that, you should avoid that. Actually pulling on this mounting point itself rather than actually just at the door card. So a bit of a door jobs list then. I've got the door card off. Um, I'm going to clean and repair the door card itself. I'm going to check the glass rails and lubricate the rails. On the passenger side door, the, the window is quite lazy. So I'm going to lubricate the rails that the glass runs up and down. They, they can dry out. I'm going to check the speaker condition because they look a bit tired. I'm going to also check for the anti rattle strips of the glass because my one door is the door, the glass definitely rattles. Check the wiring loom, loom over for any um, snagged wires, etc. I'm going to change my wood veneers back from carbon fibre to um, the wood look or the wood ones. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that's uh, good information for you. If you want to remove your door card or you think you've got some problems with your door itself. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please click thumbs up if you liked it. Please share and please subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.